this tutorial, I will show you how you can create simple uh, REST API code using PHP and MySQL. And uh, at the ending of this tutorial, I will show you how you can test your uh, API using Postman app. So first of all, uh, uh, you have to create a database. And here in my project, the database name is API Create Tutor. So go there and create my application admin and create the database API Create Tutor. Okay, next uh, create a table, employee table, where the code operation will be applied. So here the table still for the employee table is uh, given in step 2. So you just copy it and uh, select the database and go to the SQL tab and paste the SQL. Then on go, uh, the table is created. And next step is to insert some data in the employee table. Just select the database and click on Excel and paste the content. Okay, now change the place uh, in project and then employee table. Okay, now uh, go for the Step 4, create a project folder named API Create PHP or whatever you want. I have already uh, created the folder under this doc folder, which is empty now. And now I will do the next step. Create the API folder under the project folder. So here, create a new folder API. Our API folder is created. And uh, create the necessary file for a code operation. First one is create.php. Second one is read.php. Third one is object.php fourth one is delete.php and fifth one is to read a particular record with a single word Okay, all three files are created on this is a PA folder and uh, create another two files for the database connection database.php and another file for uh, creating the necessary method for employee table. And that is in blows.ph. Sorry, remove the file. PHP. Okay, uh, now our necessary file structure is uh, created. Now I will add image. I will add code um, for each file. Now go for the uh, step 6 uh, for uh, the code for the database.php. Open the database.php and that's it. Here, uh, database connection will be created uh, if you call the method get connection with the database API code DB that is created in the previous step. Okay, now save the file and go for the next step. Employees.php And this is a uh, employee class file that, uh, that contains all uh, necessary method to do the code operation. So 
go to employees and posting. Here, uh, first of all, uh, the next is variable safety clerk to complete the code operation. These are used for variable stables, ID, name, email, designation created, and result variable will be used to store the uh, result returned by the query. And uh, this variable contains the query name, and DB variable will be used to refer the condition variable. So when any object of this class will be created, then uh, it will uh, make the condition with the database and return the Values in DB variable. Okay, get employees method will be used for grade API. Create employee will be used for uh, insert API or create a new record. Uh, get single employee method will be used for reading particular employee data. Update employee method uh, will be used for updating particular record. And the uh, next or last method is delete employees to delete any. Employee record. Okay, I will explain this uh, method detail in the next step. So now go to the next step. Uh, add code for read API. And uh, this API will. Uh, Make database connection using get connection, create employee object, and call the get employees method of the employee class to read all existing records from the database. And next step is to read particular record from the database based on the employee ID. Add this code into a single list. And now go to the step 10. Create or insert API to insert a new record into employee table. So add the code here. I make this update.php for updating any particular employee record. And it will write in update.php. And the last one is delete to remove any record from the employee table. And this thing to go here, delete.php. Okay, all our API codes are added. And I will explain the code and I will call the API. Save all files. Now uh, it's time to test your API, how it works or it is working properly or not. So first of all I will test the read API. So now I will test the read API. So copy this URL and open the program and paste it here. And if you click on the send button then it will show all the records and how it works. When I call the read.php, then it will uh, call this file and it makes the database connection and create the object of the employee and call the method get employee to retrieve all records from the employee table. So as you can see, the select table is executed to read all the records and the all record information will be returned to read that will. Um, Include the record uh, as a JSON code, and uh, here while loop is used to fetch its record and store in this array, and which is written back like this. And if no record is found, then it will return no record found. In the same way, uh, I can choose the single read. to read and you can mention the ID here suppose I want to read the record of 9 and do this so I will type here ID and add a value 9 and if I click here then you can see it is reading the record 9 and how it works 
if you are doing that single way then in same thing you can see get connection here for the reverse connection getting employee object and call get single employee from the employee plus get single employee that returns the employee information based on the id and the fetch associate is used to retrieve the related information of the particular id and that is written back here and if no employee record found then it will show employee not found suppose i if i type 15 uh, as id value so it does not exist if uh, suppose 51 and if i click it uh, then it is showing type now that means uh, the related employee information is not found uh, uh, the id value is shown here Making the book because this value does not exist for 51. But uh, if I type 7 here, that exists, then you can see it is showing the record 7. You can uh, prevent this error message by adding if condition here to check this fields are empty or not. Now I will check the update information for that. I uh, will type update.php. And uh, uh, the update information uh, or update parameter will be added here. Suppose I want to update one, and the uh, key value here is test, and the uh, email is yes dot test at email dot com, and the resignation. Here, uh, this field will not match with the fields of the executive test. Employee.update. Now, if I open the database here and uh, browse it again, then you can see first record is updated. In the same way, uh, you can delete uh, by calling the delete API, delete.php. And just mention the ID number that you want to delete. Suppose I want to delete the one ID and employee table. And if I check the database again, then you can see number one employee is deleted. And these all are done in the same way uh, using update table with all parameter value and call the update query. And if any record is updated, then it will return to otherwise false. And for the delete records, let uh, also read the ID value from the uh, URL and uh, call the delete employees of the employee class. And it turns a delete method based on the ID value. And if it is able to delete, then it will return true. And uh, if it gets true, then it will. Uh, show a message and play delete it otherwise that it will not be now i will uh, go for the create method and last method to insert data create dot ph and you can see the parameter here i don't need to set id because it is auto increment so i will start from name Okay, now if I type send and if it is able to create the record, then it will show the message is created successfully. Now you can check your database to check in place created or not. Now you can see no record is added here. In this way, you can create a very simple code operation using PHP and MySQL.